Okay, so let's have some fun today. What do we do? Shall we go on a holiday? Perfect. So where shall we go? Goa? Wow, okay. Let's go to Goa. And you guys are going to help me pick the right tickets for the journey. Okay, so let's do this together. Quickly open up the website. Okay, let's input the details. The name. Your name. My name. Okay. And that's a round trip. So we need to get back. Select the dates. Wonderful. And we're good to go. Let's hit the search button. Wow, that's a lot of options. I can't figure out anything. I know I need to leave early in the morning so that we can get the full day to enjoy, right? And of course, I want to get the best price. So how do I do that? Like you can see, it's going to take painfully long to run through all of this in random order. So let's put this in order. Let's try to put this in order. According to time, we seem to have an option. And there you go. Much better, right? So here are my search results. Let me take a screenshot of that for you. Okay. And I also have an option to sort it according to price, which means from the cheapest ticket to the most costliest ticket. And if I click that, here are my options. So I have two options. I have one option where I leave early and I have another option which sorts from the cheapest to the costliest ticket. So if my priority is to get going as soon as possible, then I will choose this one. And if my priority is to pick up the cheapest price, then I'll choose this one. For now, let's go early, okay? So let's go early so that we can enjoy the day together. There you go. Did you realize the importance of being able to organize all of this stuff into order? Did you realize the crazy amount of time we actually saved doing all of this? So, while you and I wait for our beautiful holiday to happen, let's do something really simple today. Let's just have fun, sorting things into buckets, sorting them in some order, deciding what stuff we have more of, what we have less of. And in that journey together, I'm going to take you through the importance of the simple task of just organizing all the stuff that you've got in the right way. And sometimes we organize based on color. Sometimes we organize or sort based on shape. Sometimes, all of this arranging can be done to just make things look better. Neater? Like how mom asks you to organize stuff in the cupboard. And sometimes, to help you not make a clutter out of a clutter when you want to find that something. So let me tell you how common the seemingly tough word data is. Data handling. That's what we're doing today, right? Let's say I asked you, how old you are? Age is data. How tall are you? Your height is data. What's your roll number in class? Your roll number is data. You're basically handling data already. Tons and tons of data. More the data, the more you need to manage it, right? So what you handle on a daily basis, from the number of periods in class, to the number of goals you scored in the football match in the evening, to the number of friends who joined you for a coffee after that, all of this is data. So let's see how a big company like Google helps us look for something we want to look for, okay, named on it. So say you're this huge fan of Dragon Ball Z and you're watching some trailers on the internet. So when you type in the search for Dragon Ball Z, Google is able to bring out from its huge collection of videos the exact ones that you want. So what exactly happened there between your typing in of Dragon Ball Z episode and Google bringing it to you in a fraction of a second? Did you ever wonder? Well, did you know that there are a lot of spiders working for the internet? Oh, don't be scared, not these guys. These are virtual spiders that scan the internet for any words that match the words that you're searching. And then they bring it back to you. Maybe. That's why it's called a website. 